so we are running and looking good. Um, this was actually not a service call, just a, a, I just, I'm out on a PM actually, and the, they didn't know they had a problem. Uh, nobody had seen the alarm yet, but they did have an alarm on the BAS. But stage two takes over, and with no load, and it's 50 degrees outside, everything works fine. It is something I do on these PMs, especially now that I know the sensor failure is an issue. Uh, I always go through and verify my sensors. Connect a K-type probe to the suction line, uh, the water line in and out. Uh, make sure all my sensors are reading correctly because it will throw everything off. We are looking good now. And we're gonna go button everything back up and get the hell out of the rain. What's up guys? Um, I got a C Jam chiller here. Uh, I've lost another sensor. I've had continual problems with my suction line temperature sensors right here. Typically it shows up into that line there and reads the suction temperature. So in the past I've been like 10 to 15 degrees off and it'll partially work uh, and just throw a, a error code every every once in a while um, and I've verified them before and just changed the sensor out everything seems fine today I've got it's actually reading 192 degrees and that line's not 192 degrees about 55 degrees outside right now which is about what I should be reading hanging in the air like that so I'm waiting on a call back from tech support to see if we can't go through and figure out what the hell is causing these sensor failures the sensor should be under warranty um, I'm gonna trace my wires back and see which board it plugs into maybe we got a board issue doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you'd think it'd be more consistent um, this thing was changed last uh, June or so and here we are eight months later and i've got a failed sensor the other one seems to be reading correctly you can see circuit two it's showing 47 degrees so that seems right um so just looking for answers now uh let's trace some wires and look at the diagram see if we can't find out where it comes back to the board uh i thought last time maybe it could be in the harness uh somewhere along the line where it comes back and runs back over to the control but uh, that's what I'm doing some research on now try to figure out this problem so I found there's my suction temperature sensor comes back to WB3 didn't really specify what WB3 is but you can see all my sensors so it all comes back on one line so it hits both stages all my temperature sensors it comes back here and hits all these little boards and then the ribbons jump them out so kind of interested to see how they're gonna approach this uh, as far as diagnosing which one it could be because they all connect I guess it could be just some of these ribbons too uh, Maybe something just with age and reading right. I kind of wiggled them around to see if anything changed on my temperature, and it doesn't. But it jumps all these boards too. It's going to be one of these because there's no, these are relay outputs here. So these are probably controlling condenser fans or contactors or whatever. This is going to be my temperatures and all my. Uh, sensors as far as transducers and temp sensors well, I got no real good answers for tech support verifying my other sensor 48.6 40, 48 so right on on the stage two so we're gonna have to get a sensor stage one so we can get it reading right and then 
time we'll verify it fighting rainy day so I'm gonna button all this back up before I go just in case it downpours we'll go get a sensor um, basically we talked about this line coming back from all my sensors so if it was something along the line you'd think my problem would be widespread I would have no sensors reading or all my sensors reading out of whack it's always the suction line temp and it's on stage one so basically he said maybe just from cycling uh, it's getting premature failure which I could understand over a longer period of time but not eight months but anyways I, I got no real other answers than that uh, we're gonna check some set points and differentials and stuff like that right now I got no load it's 50 degrees outside and this thing's cycling about every 20 to 30 minutes and the cycle time has been about 15 minutes or so so let's go get a sensor and we'll uh, as long as it don't rain because I gotta have my computer out here to do it and uh, we'll throw a new sensor on this thing so we're using the tech key software <clears throat> this is the unit view here I think if I can remember how to do this you go to view and then binding view and that should bring up all my sensors we'll give it a minute let it boot and then we'll should be able to see all our sensors so here's our binding view you can see all our sensors so we got to come down and find our suction temperature right here suction temperature circuit one and make sure we got the right one we're gonna unbind first and I get a little red frowny face freaking rain's killing me I got my tent out but I'm gonna stay as dry as possible now we should be able to unplug that sensor and put the new sensor on so now that we've unbinded this sensor, we should be able to pop it off. Connections and everything look good. And we should be able to pop the new sensor back on. And we're just gonna let it hang for right now. We'll hook it up in a minute. Magnet. should be able to swipe the magnet and you see the green LED and we should be able to now go to bind and I'm getting rained on worse And it didn't read, so we're gonna try it again. Sometimes it takes once or twice. So one more try. Swipe. And bind. Still not gonna read. We'll try a couple more times here. It's, I don't know why it doesn't ever take on the first try. But when we get it bound, it should uh, we'll get a, a little green smiley face. So I had to went ahead and hit bind, and then got my cursor ready, swiped my magnet, and you can see we came back up. Well, you got a smiley face. So let's go back to our unit view and see what it's reading. Well, we should be reading. It's hanging outdoor now, so it's about 58 or so outside and so your binding mode will stop the controller here once you're out of binding it'll come back and we can go reports if I nope reports the operator circuit one is now reading 58 and a half degrees so that looks pretty good should be about right that's about our outdoor temperature And then we'll have to go in and reset our alarms.
And we're still stopped, but it'll take a minute and then it should start back up. So we're gonna use some heat conductive compound. It is a must with these. And if I can do this, nope, not gonna reach. <laughs> Oh, now that I've got it everywhere, we coated our sensor. And we're gonna plug our sensor. Make sure it goes all the way up in there. And then we will cycle our chiller. And just crap everywhere. Cycle it and just verify our temperature with my K-Pro, it's reading 59. So back into our control. We're in stopped. We should be able to hit auto. And then we'll go back to our evaporator circuit one. It should cycle that one. And try to clean up our mess. Give it a minute, it'll cycle, and then we'll verify our temperatures. There she goes. And you can see that suction temperature is how it controls the EXV. Showing about 48. 47.7, so that's pretty damn close. These are quick, uh, quick, act, quick acting sensors, so they will uh, change pretty quickly. Forty one. Forty nine. This is going to react a whole lot slower than that sensor will, but I'm well within range, pretty close on everything, and we're looking good there. So we're going to let it run for a little while and watch it, uh, and then try to get the hell out of the rain. I'm already soaked. So uh, leave me a comment, guys. I've got a, another video I did on this a long time ago. But uh, tell me your all's experience with these sensors. I know they're, they fail all the time for some reason. They supposedly have upgraded their sensor technology, and I'm still having troubles with them. and haven't found a cause or haven't been able to locate a cause anywhere. So leave the trade better than you found it. We'll see you guys next time. After some run time, we can see we're about 52 degrees. Saturated temp 40, so we're doing about 12 degrees super heat. Showing 52. And I'm showing 51.2. So we're looking good, I like it.